There were two more weeks to go before Melissa was scheduled to leave residential treatment. She was finally starting to really give the place some credit, considering how she'd scoffed to herself during her introduction to the rituals and routines of rehab life. Still, she didn't like to think too much about her grand re-emergence into the unpredictable real world. She had addressed this at her regular one-on-one -on -one meeting with her counselor, Rita. Rita had been sober for five years and had an incredible knack for immediately making everyone around her feel like old friends. Rita had walked with her to one of the small, unadorned computer rooms and patiently helped her through 45 minutes of multiple-choice surveys about how, when, where, and with whom she drank back at home. She then created characters on the computer that had the appearance of some of her closest family and friends, choosing from a wide array of hairstyles, eyes, clothing, and so on. Every day since then, she had spent an hour and a half on the computer doing what Rita called virtual coping training. One day, the screen showed her friends whooping it up in a dark wooden pub booth. The next day, her mother appeared on the screen and, as usual, proceeded with inappropriate, nosy questions. Watching these scenes unfold, Melissa was given a number of choices. Practice your coping skills. Access your recovery network. More coping ideas. Sometimes, she would try relaxation techniques she had learned in group. Once, when she selected leave the pub, she found that her virtual friends made it hard to walk away. Just like they really are, she thought. They can get so pushy after a few hours of carrying on. She learned how to access her recovery network using a training cell phone. Rita told Melissa to make sure she gets that part down cold. There will be times when you feel like that thing is your best friend, she said as she pointed at the cell on screen.